I've had parents explain to me, well, I let my teenager listen to rock music because that's all he'll listen to. Let me tell you, so the lyrics to real rock music is nothing more than satanic cyanide. Get it out of your house, throw it out, and burn it. It has no place in the house of the righteous. It was a gruesome crime. 15-year-old Elise Paler was lured into a grove of eucalyptus trees by three teenage boys in 1995. They bound her neck with a belt, stabbed her repeatedly, and then raped her. Her body might never have been found if one of them, Royce Casey, hadn't come forward. He said she was a blonde-haired, blue-eyed virgin, and they were offering her as a sacrifice to the devil. The boys were part of a death metal band and thought that Satan could make their music better. Casey said it was an idea they'd gotten from Altar of Sacrifice, a song by the heavy metal band Slayer. Taylor's parents filed suit against the band, trying to hold them partially responsible for their daughter's murder, a suit that was eventually thrown out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, that's really the core kind of message that's in the music, isn't it? It always has been. Yeah. And the weird thing was, even though my image was the most scary I terrified TBS, I think, yeah. because of, yeah, first of all, they never heard my songs, I guarantee you. Mm -hmm. They never actually listened to my songs, because almost everything I wrote was good and evil. Mm -hmm. Don't pick evil. Yeah. You know, even when I wasn't Christian, I was saying that, you know, uh, uh, God and the devil. Don't pick the devil. It's, it's a bad idea. Well, I don't believe in either heaven and hell as a, as a place to go to that, uh, you know, when, when we die, we're going to go down and burn for a while. And if, if we're good, we're going to go up there and be happy for a while. Or purgatory, purgatory where all the poor on the little baptized babies are hanging out, you know. I think anybody who's got that kind of, anybody who came up with that idea that there's going to be a place where little, little children are going to be hanging out for the rest of their lives, you know, is either the sickest person on earth or the most stupid person on earth. Uh, I think both of those things apply. So I don't believe in any of those things. My belief in heaven and hell is heaven and hell is right here. This is where we are. This is heaven, this is hell. You make your own heaven, you make your own hell. Hell, good and evil, God, the devil, reside in each one of us. I don't have to go to a place to pray. Yeah, I pray inside myself. I can pray to whomever I want to inside myself and get the same results. I don't need to be told by a priest that I'm bad or to be told by a nun that I'm not learning my project properly and get smacked on the head and with a ruler. Who the hell are you to do that to me? Or to be told that here's God, and God is a guy who's been nailed up on a piece of wood. It's not the way I want to think of, of life. I don't think of it that way. And with all the religions that they are preaching all the same things, it's real one great big homogenized thing anyway. At the end of the day, if we all just believe in the same thing, you know, that we got a choice between good and evil. Hey, make your choice. That's all it's about to me. So writing those songs perhaps brought a, 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 out a little bit of my cynical side, but what it brought out of me is what I believe in life. And that is that, you know, we are the last in line. And uh, you know, there is heaven and hell if you consider that it's what people do to you that make it heaven and hell, which is, it goes right to the song. The world is full of kings and queens who blind your eyes and steal your dreams. That's heaven and hell. That's what heaven and hell is. The heaven when the people tell you how good they're going to treat you and the hell when you find out it was all a lie, wasn't it? That's what heaven and hell is to me. I like to take pot shots at religion because I think it's the, the biggest brainwashing thing that is totally acceptable in America and probably most of every place else in the world. Um, I just, I think it's a load of shit. Tom, another well-tread path with you is your Christian background yeah. and the juxtaposition with your music. Catholic. What place do your personal beliefs have in Slayer? I consider what we do art, right? And it's, it's art can be a reflection of society. You know what I mean? And, you know, and we're picking up the dark reflections. <laughs> you know, and that's what we're reflecting. But evil is everywhere, man. Everybody's got it. It sits really deep in everybody. Some people can't control it as much as others. But I, I think it's, it's, it's there. Regardless of whatever fucking religion you believe in, whatever it is you feel is right, everybody knows what's wrong. Everybody knows that there's 
there's wrong things. There are just things you do not do. And the people that don't understand that or don't believe that, then they're really, they're not really connected with themselves spiritually. It doesn't matter what the fuck you believe. He doesn't hate. He doesn't. He doesn't. He doesn't. He doesn't. God doesn't hate. Uh, it's a great fucking title. When they wanted to make that an album title, I was like, God damn, that's fucking really good. I think it'll fucking piss a lot of people off. You cannot think of Black Sabbath without at least seeing one upside down cross. Who cannot think of Slayer without seeing a pentagram? You know, it's visually, it it kind of ties you to a certain band, to a certain sound. It's cool, you know, and I don't think any of the people that use them actually want Satan to rule the world, you know? It's just something that, that enhances the experience for people. The Satanism that you see is not Satanism. It's some kind of, you know, it's some kind of caricature Satanism. Real Satanism wouldn't be, if you're looking for Satanism, first of all, you don't look to rock and roll. A bunch of kids running around playing loud guitars and going like that. That's Halloween. I'm not gonna leave, 